have a shortage of school bus drivers for Granite City students complicating the start of the new school year. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins joins us live with the district's short-term solution and their desperate effort to hire drivers. Kelly. Oh, Mandy and Vic, we're right outside of Granite City High School where the district had to scramble to try and find bus service for hundreds of students. But the superintendent says that temporary service is on the way and a bus driver shortage problem that's been throughout the districts across the country. It has been a rough start to the school year in the Granite City Community Unit School District 9. For the last few days, some students have missed school due to a bus driver shortage. The school bus company the district contracts with says it's a problem in other districts are facing across the country. We're seeing uh, shortages of varying degrees uh, uh, across um, you know, much of our organization. This, this isn't something that's um, only affecting us. Um, many other school bus companies and, and school districts around the country are, are facing the same thing. And, um, and really, we're doing everything we can to, to reach out to, uh, to individuals out there that can help us. But things are about to change effective immediately when the Madison County Transit Company heard about the shortage. Transportation officials wanted to lend a helping hand. The company will be offering free rides on its fixed route buses to the district for the students affected by the bus driver shortage through September 30th. The superintendent is grateful for the kind gesture. Their board has generously offered to allow our district students to ride the regular bus routes for free through the end of September. We could not be more thrilled. And although this will be a temporary fix, the district says they are 16 bus drivers short to cover routes and provide appropriate coverage for substitute drivers and 32 short to cover the schedule the district ran in the last school year. The superintendent hopes with Madison County Transit stepping in, it will give the district more time to help fill the vacancies. Moving from a, a three tier to a two tier, um, requiring less drivers and at this point we were down another 10 yesterday, 11 today, which is obviously why we've had this issue. Um, it's we're not really sure what the cause is, but we've tried everything for recruitment. The school officials say they will continue to work with the Illinois Board of Education to try and find a solution to help fill the vacancies. Reporting live from Granite City, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.